Um, so the guys in that prior segment were talking about uh, insider buying, and we now know that Charlie Scharf uh, bought some wells on Friday uh, at 28 and change. Are you doing any buying? I'm, I'm buying a lot of things, including bank stocks, although I own a lot of banks. Uh, I do think it's an opportunity. I think uh, we're going to have a uh, we're likely to have a recession, but I think it's going to be V-shaped. Um, you know, th th this is all about the virus. I mean, we're talking about markets and so forth. But job number one is we have to get this uh, virus under control. We know how to do it. Other countries have done it. And it's uh, and and. It can be solved relatively quickly. It may be a lot of disruptions in our lives to, to do that, quarantines and so forth. But uh, this is not a financial crisis. It's not a banking crisis. It's a health crisis. And once that is solved, the, 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 the uh, need to, for people to go back out and, and live a normal life and have the <laughs> money to do so is going to have a booming economy uh, once that we solve this problem. Uh, it's, it's such a good point, uh, Dick, because you look at the price action that we've seen, uh, especially in financials, and, and then you look at the experience that obviously different types of countries in China and Singapore and Taiwan and South Korea have had, they have peaked out. And it seems like the bare argument right now is not paying attention to that dynamic at all, or even that possibility. Well, and, and even you guys, you're still talking about all the issues in finance and, and markets and so well, on. Because we're heading it, into it. We should it. be talking about it, these health providers and so on, what needs to get done. And, and talking to uh, South Korea and so forth, what, what happened there. And, and I think it was interesting that the, uh, uh, the mayor of New York City said he, he could see an end 45 days from now. Now, I'm, I, I don't know whether that's an accurate prediction. I certainly wouldn't uh, b believe a mayor. But the experts that are out there, um, uh, you know, and the experience has happened, I think that's where the communication should go. And, of course, there are vaccines being worked on, too, which is a, a longer-term uh, situation. But um, there's some, it there, there sounds like there's some uh, uh, interesting things going on there with people that, that know the business, the scientists that know the business, that think that they are going to find a vaccine. Yeah, Dick, I mean, 45 days from now sounds pretty good, especially when President Trump is talking about this potentially stretching um, into August. And certainly with everything we're seeing play out in South Korea, I do hope that that becomes something of a template, given the fact that we are seeing the numbers come down there for what plays out here in the U.S. as well. In the meantime, some of the steps that have been taken, particularly in the last couple of days, um, where credit is concerned, where the banks specifically are concerned. I mean, Kayla Tausche is reporting that the regulators are looking to loosen some of those rules gover governing the bank industry to basically free up liquidity right now. Are these the right steps? Do they go far enough in the meantime? Well, well let's talk about what, what aren't the right steps. Uh, you know, the, the monetary uh, bazooka has been triggered. Uh, it will have no impact, in my opinion, on improving the economy, and certainly doesn't do anything about the health issues. Uh, and it has a negative psychology uh, that happened in the in the financial crisis, quite frankly. Uh, you know, they they decreased by uh, the, the Fed funds by 50 basis points. The market went down a thousand points. They said, "Okay, let's do double that." The market went down 3,000 points. They also said, like they said in the other crisis, that we'll keep uh, uh, interest rates low forever. Well, that doesn't build any confidence. <laughs> Every six weeks, the Fed came out during the crisis saying, oh, things aren't very good. We're going to keep rates at zero. How does that help the, the uh, confidence of, of people uh, and the investors? Um, they, they also said they're going to do QE on long-term uh, uh, bonds and so on. That didn't help even the financial crisis. What they what they should emphasize, and they did, but not enough, is that this is a liquidity crisis, not a financial crisis. We've got to make sure that we get through this uh, with, uh, by giving the liquidity necessary to do so. And if, if there's any parts of the market that, that sees up, like what happened in, in the financial crisis, and it's happening now, like commercial uh, paper, they'll fix it. Those are the two things that they should be emphasizing, not the stuff that didn't work in the past.